really brothers? Brother and cursive. Are we really brothers? Brother and cursive. Are we are we really brothers? Brother and cursive. Are we really brothers? Brother and cursive. Are we really brothers? What you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Cursive. Here's William Montgomery and Dana Hilke. Yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up? I thought you said there was a new... Uh, can y'all hear me? I can't hear myself. Another beat those. for the freestyle. Yeah, there is. Was there not... Ooh. Oh, turn that shit down a little bit, a little bit. There, there we go, right there. Source right. connect. Yeah. Yeah, there's another beat for the freestyle. Me and William are fresh off getting the uh, COVID vaccine. How you feel? I feel sick as shit. I didn't want to tell y'all that. <sighs> Did they give you the fifteen hundred? Or yeah, I got fifteen hundred. Yeah, they gave me fifteen hundred for the vaccine. Are you gonna take it, Redman? Oh yeah, I took the Pfizer. How have you said them fools? Wait, I was kidding. What do you mean they give people fifteen hundred dollars? You didn't get fifteen hundred for the vaccine? No, idiot. So when we went to the place today where I took you to get the vaccine, you're supposed to sign a little waiver and they're supposed to give you fifteen hundred. You told me explicitly don't sign the waiver. Oh, well, I mean, you why'd you do that to me? You got fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, I'm a thousand dollars in the hole after paying this woman. Oh yeah, you paid the woman that hit your car. Yeah, I had to pay her nine eighty. Hold up, you hit her car, right? My door hit the front of her car when her car was already stopped. I would have kept going at a McDonald's parking lot, right? Out in the road. I can't remember what street it was. It was somewhere in the valley. It was in Reseda somewhere. It was by Brody's Bench. Aww. It's right by the park by Brody's Bench. Yeah, I probably would have kept on going, dog. Well, I didn't, and I paid her ass $1,000. She got you. That's all right, though. Just get it back. You know what I'm saying? She got you, bro. Yeah, she got me. That's all good, though. You'll get it back. You live and you learn. Yeah. Next time, you'll keep on going. You live and you learn. Or you'll just be like, what accident? <laughs> right? Yeah, what accident? What accident, bitch? Yeah, I might go to her place. I have her address. I'm thinking about going there. And Where does she work? Slashing everyone's tires. You said her... I feel I, like I shouldn't say where she works or her address. Okay. You, well, you said her ID was the address to her job, right? Correct. So that seems sketchy. So I kind of want to call ICE on them. <laughs> what, what type of work is it? Let's ask. They do uh, sheetrock. The fuck? <laughs> on buildings. Textile plant? Oh, God. I don't know. It looks like an old house. It was kind of a little industrial area. It was by an airport. Oh, by the Van Nuys Airport? Yeah. She's oh. a coyote. Yeah, it's right <laughs> over there. Damn, Will. You got God probably, bro. 988. I, I remember the first time I hit somebody in L.A. And this girl was driving. And um, I had a Nissan Maxima at the time. And the lady called me the next day. She's like, yeah, let's go ahead and handle this. And I was like, handle what? She was like, from the accident. I was like, what accident? Wait, you hit her, you said? Yeah. Was well, it bad? It was decent. Did y'all not exchange information? Yeah, we did. <clears throat> but she didn't take no pictures. So what happened the next day when she's asking you this stuff? I asked her what accident. <laughs> yeah? I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and what happened? I didn't pay her. So it was as simple as that. Yes. What if she called the police? I had Georgia tags. You think they were going to research Georgia to to get a a couple of hundred dollars out of me? Fuck no. I just like. So all you said was, did she have your insurance? No. See, this lady had my insurance. She didn't have my insurance. So that's why I decided to. uh, I mean, you could have just said I ain't got it. (laughs) I ain't got it. But then she's going through the insurance. And then I'm. But it's a lot to prove, bro. It's a lot to prove because what insurance company do you have? I don't know. <laughs> this it's actually my- not even know. <laughs> Will, you are here living like a teenager, bro. I know. He's a grown adult. Are you? You must not pay for your insurance. I don't pay for my okay, insurance. Okay, that's that's why you don't know. I know. I'm about to start. Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm about to start. 17. Yeah, I'm about to start paying for it. <laughs> I didn't want to get into this part. We're actually going to take Will's car because it's like a five-year-old car and it don't barely have 10,000 miles. We're going to take it on a road trip to That's Austin. That's a good car. We're going to take it on a road trip to Austin. But you got to get that door fixed because I'd be damned. No, the door's fixed. Okay. I actually got all four doors fixed for free. Oh, really? Where? Because there was a recall on Volvo. Wow. When would you get it fixed? A couple of weeks ago. Right after it happened, I was scared and I got it. I w- went to the sweet uh, Hispanic guy who's the Volvo Sweet fixer his, upper sweet, sweet his, his, 
Sweet. No, seriously. And he, I didn't have to pay him anything. He just said, leave me a nice Yelp review. That's Ooh. nice. So I left him a really nice Yelp review. Oh, yeah? Can we see it? What's the name of the shop? Yeah, if you want to. Action Volvo, maybe? Action. Action Volvo. I did. I immediately went back and... Because he was telling me he was thinking it was going to be like 600 bucks. So I was just like, what is going on with my life right now? How Not near this? La Crescenta. Where is it at? Yeah, is it on there? I'm pretty sure. It's in the valley right, somewhere. Right. The there it there. is. How long ago? Let's see. I don't got, think he has tons of reviews. Is he got is he tw- sweet guy? No, that's not him, actually. And when I was there, some dude... There's your car right there. That's not him. It's not white. I don't think that's him. I just see him in masks, right, but that, I don't think it's him. He only got him. 29 reviews. There, oh, yeah. There? <laughs> is that true? I left him a sweet review. Well, why don't you read it for us? Is that it? William M.? Yeah, William Montgomery. Lying like a motherfucker. Read that shit. Uh, Was going on a trip a couple months ago, so brought my Volvo to Freddy to get an oil change. He went above and beyond and ended up fixing a broken mirror I had as well. A couple days ago, I brought my Volvo to him because the driver's side door lock was broken and the door wouldn't stay shut. Freddy ended up fixing all the locks for me. I am relatively new to California, uh, almost three years now. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) uh, and there is no way i'd ever take my car anywhere else he has been nothing but kind and honest i never leave reviews for places but thought i would for action volvo because it has been nothing but positive experiences thus far honestly i would highly recommend look at william putting that volunteer degree to use that's a good review isn't it i'm almost a virgin i've only slept with eight guys (laughs) <laughs> what does that mean? You said you're relatively new three years. Yeah, relatively new. Motherfucker, babies, what would you call that? Babies go from shitting on themselves to, to using the bathroom by themselves in three years. I wish I had other reviews. It'd be funny if I had other I know, reviews, but that was literally my first review. Do you have any reviews, David? Uh, shit, I don't know. It'd be funny if you did. Try it, David Lucas. I don't even know if I got a Yelp. Do y'all use Yelp? I feel like I use Yelp a decent amount. That's white people shit. Mm -hmm. I use it all the time. Do you not, David? No. (laughs) No, but I had to. The guy was telling me, and if he was some dishonest guy, he would have just charged me 600 bucks. Right. So I was happy to leave a review Did you at least give him like $100? I didn't. Mm, I felt it. I mean, I, have, I mean, if it's a recall, Volvo's paying him, so. Yeah. 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 Or, you know, he did some other shit. He might I know. Sometimes I think, <laughs> oh, he's taking out good parts out of my car and stealing them. <laughs> Your catalytic converter, go. <laughs> That's what I think. If I was some sort of a dishonest mechanic, I would steal people's fucking parts. Why? And they would have, just because I don't like. Some don't, mechanics do that, don't they? I don't know. I would hope not. I mean, I was thinking that as like a worst case scenario. Bro, when I first moved here, I moved here uh, with a new car. Fairly new. And um, I took it to, what is that place called? Pep Boys? Yeah, I've heard of that. To just to, Because I, I had drove it from uh, Georgia to here. So my mom was like, as soon as you get to LA, get an oil change. So I took it to the only place I fucking know is Pep Boys. Here, let me read some of these one stars you gave. Go back up. Let me read them. Get some one stars, huh? Oh, that's red. Do man. you have this many reviews? I used to be a Yelp elite, bro. Oh my gosh! One of the one Look of the ones these. said, "Man, Look at these. It paragraphs. started out with that. Look at these paragraphs. <laughs> Was somebody paying you, or why were you doing yeah, they, this? They would give me free food. All the, the only time, place that got five see, stars. That's cool. The only place that got five stars for Red Band is food. <laughs> Unhealthy food. Jumbo Juice got two stars. <laughs> How many reviews? Look at that picture. That's a fun picture of you on there. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Wait, why does it change? I don't know. I don't, I've never seen that before. Yeah, Red Band got a different Yelp account. <laughs> yeah. there's some. I'm trying to find some fun. I used to do funny, really funny ones. Would but, you really? Yeah. You were yelping before Yelp was a thing in oh, Yeah, how long has <laughs> yeah, how long has it been God around? Damn. Yeah, it's funny. All these restaurants are closed now and shit. 
as they should be. Or a lot of them. Yeah. Because of your Yelp review. If your Yelp review didn't close them, COVID sure did. Did you hear about our scam-ass governor? Like, some of his business received over, like, $3 million? Yeah. I did read that That yesterday. motherfucker, bro. He got to go. Knew some? Yeah. He's, I miss the days of when California was ran by criminals, dog. Like, Vera Gosa. Can Who's you, that? He was a criminal that we used to have. He had, like, courtside uh, seats to the Lakers playoff or the Lakers finals game. And they're, like, $50,000 a piece. And they were saying what his salary was versus how much the two tickets cost for him and his date. And he was like, oh, I received them as a gift. God. <laughs> or Schwarzenegger. He was fun, wasn't he? I've heard mixed reviews from people who lived here under Schwarzenegger. I've heard people say it was a lot of money to be made when Schwarzenegger was governor. Here, should I read this? Is, is, is that true, Red Band? You've been here. What? When Schwarzenegger was governor, California was ran pretty good. It was pretty good, yeah. Here, uh, should I read it? Sure. So this is for Jasmine Ear Studio on uh, October 1st, 2008. I wasn't even in L.A. yet. <laughs> uh, warning, I'm 34. I've had tons of bad haircuts, but never in my life did I think the person cutting my hair had never cut hair. <laughs> 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 the haircut was $7, but it wasn't even worth 10 cents. <laughs> I left the place with a mess on my head that I will end up having to shave off or go pay someone else to fix. I have short hair, so it's almost impossible to mess it up. I asked for two blades on the sides, uh, blended into the, the top, and just trimmed on the top. She took a seven blade over my whole head, never even touched her scissors, then a six, then a five. Then she asked me what number came after five, and I said, four? And she said, oh, right. What? Then I started getting scared. She asked you Is that, that true? Yes. I was so freaked out. What number comes after five? <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Yeah. That's real? Yep. I thought that bitch was playing. She was an old lady. All right, there you go. Read that, then I'll take the rest. Uh, she asked me seriously like ten times what I wanted, and I kept repeating myself. Then she was done, but she didn't even touch the top of my hair. It was still long and sticking out. So I pointed that out, and she was like, oh, and cut my hair for another 10 minutes. She nicked me about five times, didn't cut my hair anywhere close to what I wanted, and I just wanted to escape. I was hurt, traumatized. <laughs> I now have the worst haircut of my life by a woman that I could, I would almost guarantee never got her license. Maybe she bought a pair of clippers at Walmart and it came with a warranty card that she thought was a license. <laughs> it's a $7 haircut for a reason, but she should have paid me $7. Stay away from the place by all means. Don't even think about it. I could have got a better haircut from a few radiation treatments at a cancer hospital. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes, Red Man! <laughs> Her haircut. <laughs> oh my god. Her haircut was worth about the same as one of those free hug coupons you give your mom as a kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know this place is closed. <laughs> they, they say, I don't even know. Did they contact you? <laughs> it's got two stars out of twenty six <laughs> reviews. And it's still open, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Where's this is in Burbank too. Yeah. God. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let, let's look at the one star reviews. I've been coming here for over six years and bringing my two boys and five nephews for the entire time, every three to four weeks. Cuts used to be eight bucks, and I pay fifteen per person. Over the years, cuts went up to twelve per person, and I paid twenty per child. Today, I walked in with that dirty slob owner watching, singing Ooh. Persian as singing if he was in the sh- <laughs> as if he were in the shower, <laughs> and clipping his nails as usual. Usual. But today, Monday, March eleventh, two thousand nineteen, upon walking in, my little boy for his haircut without a greeting. The discourteous and rude female cosmetologist says in Armenian, I don't have time to get to you. Can't you see I'm busy with another person waiting? Well, I'd be damned if I'm going to give my business general, generous tips to an establishment that's this unappreciative and rude to a group of eight men and young boys who come on a monthly basis. They truly do have some nice women who cut men and boys' hair very well, but today was a disappointment on a whole new level. There are plenty of competitors who would love our business. So, I like this one. Yeah. Worst haircut of my life. They messed it with holes in my head. Kept my money in tip. It didn't even bother to fix it. Have any customer service and say they won't refund me the money either. Never Sonny T needs to work on his writing. That didn't yeah. really make sense. Everyone is saying how bad it is. <laughs> so this guy's a comedian, Paul K. You see that laugh oh, factory yeah. sign? Yeah, look at that. Who's this Paul K guy? He probably, Some he probably, Asian guy. He probably, PKComedy.com. Uh, sounds familiar. We need to get him on here. 
<laughs> Talk about it. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, we need to get him on here and ask him about his Yelps. <laughs> That's That'd be that looks like red, man. Eight dollars was cheap for a haircut. Yeah. Eight dollars sounds really cheap. It seems really bad. I'd be scared of it. How much do you pay for a haircut? Forty-five. Do you tip? Hell no. Nah. I mean, what do you mean? I thought you're supposed to. T- some, is it just under the table, or you go to a place? Well, I mean, now I go to a, uh, a house. Are they nice? Yeah, but he they charged, do my hair. He, he charges me uh, thirty-five at his house, but when he's at the shop, it's forty-five. Think they could do my hair? Let's see. No, I'm not taking my hat off. Let's see. Let's see. No, I'm not taking my hat off. Why? No, I'm not taking my hat off. So how you want me to know if he'll do your hair? Just you should be able to tell me. You generally know what my hair looks like. Want me to call him and see he'll do your hair? Yeah. All right, but you go, you got to take your hat off. No. Aww. Well, how's it? I'm doing? not taking it off. Uh, let me call him. Don't call him. He's not taking off his hat. You're not gonna take off your hat. I mean, I'll take it off if you're going to call yeah, him. Yeah, I'm calling him, but I'm gonna call him on Facetime. And see what he okay, says. let's see if he answers. He should. Let's Take off your hat. <laughs> oh, shit, he ain't going to answer. Hey, I like it. You should Damn. Keep, you yeah, should it looks it good, long. doesn't it? I think you should grow it long. Yeah, my hair's going kind of long these days. I like it. I got a girl who might do your hair. Hold up. Think she could braid it? Fuck no. You don't think she could do braids Put on me? Put some braids in there. Yeah, I think braids would look good on me. <laughs> I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask her live on the podcast. I'm going to be like, you're on my podcast. Just tell her I need some braids. <laughs> I want a different look. <laughs> Is she? God What's damn, her name? Anita. Anita? Ed Nita. Ed Nita? Yeah, she's Puerto Rican. Nobody's answering her fucking phone. See, look at you. You look good, Red Man. Hard? Look at that hair. Hey, what up? Hey, so look, my boy wants you to see his hair. He want to know if you can braid it. <laughs> Take your headphones off. Let's see. Anita, you, do you, you, what do you you're think? You're live on air. Hold up. I'm live? Yeah. Can, Anita, live could you help now? me? You're you're live. Can you do his hair? <laughs> we can do something. <laughs> 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 you, you want me to braid? You want me to braid hair like like cornrows? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking tilt, that. Tilt your head down. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a cornrow all the way around the head if you like. But what about the top? Cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you just have to take a little off the top because I'm actually going bald, Anita. <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we take it all off the top and and hook up your beard and make it look real nice? Yeah. Could we? How much would that yeah. cost me? Honestly, bald men are sexy. Go with it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you saying that. No, they really are. Take it all off, own it, and you'll you're gonna you're gonna be killing it. I promise. And let's just hook up the beard. How you much? Will, he said, "How much will you charge him?" To what? To do to do your hair? Yeah, to to ball him up and hook the beard up. <laughs> okay, we'll charge you forty. Cool, I could do forty. I will set yeah, you. Yeah, we'll set, we'll set you an appointment. Cool. Where are you? She's near you. She's in Tarzan. What's your address? No. She's not saying over that. <laughs> right, not over the air, you motherfucker. <laughs> All right, thank you, boo. You're welcome, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Wow, look at that. Well, that's cool. You know, I just thought of something, though. Doesn't your girl cut hair? <laughs> she does. Oh. She's buzzed my hair once. Uh-oh. She's buzzed it once. You don't trust her? No, I'm not saying that. It's just buzzed it once. Her her uh her dude actually watches us. Does he? Yeah, he's a big fan. Really? Yeah. Is he bald? I ain't never seen him. She just told me. What? So y'all just talk on the side? I don't fuck with her. She just do my hair. She do my well. She don't do my hair. She do my nails and she do my facials. What do you mean your nails? Oh, by the way, David, when you were gone, uh, and Janice filled in for you. Uh, we looked at William's nails, and they were so long. They looked like Coke nails. They were like literally two <laughs> inches long each. Damn, just let her hook you up. Just bring $100. She'll hook you all up. Bro, she has... Don't take offense to this, uh, Anita. I got him. Don't don't take offense Look to this. Look at him. I don't, got him. Don't take offense to this, Anita's boyfriend, because I know you're going to watch. She has the best touch. 
like I don't know if you've ever like got a massage. Doing your nails? Bro. How much does it cost doing your nails? So when she does my nails and my feet, it's like 60, 50. How often are you doing that? Like twice a month. You're bougie. Yeah, it's almost hard to believe. <laughs> look at my nails, bro. Oh, Let's cool. see them. Look, Red Man. I got nice They're nails. Nice. I keep my shit. Let's see them. You're looking at You're them. You're moving them around look. and fucking. They look like mine. You look like yours a lot, motherfucker. They look like mine. Look at all that cuticle you got. Go yeah, it's called a French tip. Oh, that is, no, I'm talking about cuticle. What do you mean cuticle? Yeah, the it's white a... part on the end. <laughs> Don't worry about it, dog. Oh, my God. Girl, Cuticle? I thought that was the part where you get the... How often are you fingering your girl? Not often if you had them nails that fucking long. Okay, it's a look. My hands stay in some pussy. <laughs> okay, it's a look. I'm sorry. I got you. No, no, no. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I mean, you can have longer nails. Just keep that shit trim, you know, because you don't want to fuck your girl up when you're doing your thin naive. Normally, I have hang nails. I don't have hang nails anymore. Yeah. I I would have mine a little bit longer, but you know when I be at the the gym wrestling and shit, like you don't want to be. Scratched. How are the gyms open? You told me that the other day. I thought they were closed. Well, I miss a private gym, though. Why can't I get on board? I need to get healthy. If, if you want to come, you can come. How much does it cost? Or I could just be you, your guest. Yeah, just come with me. You gonna have to you gonna have to wrestle though. You gonna have to grapple. Yeah, whatever. I wrestle. Whatever. You down for that? Yeah, whatever. I well, couldn't we should make, wrestle. We should, we should make that episode for the Patreon, huh? I you, wrestle, whatever. You, you think you'll beat me? I'm not wrestling your fucking big ass. Well, who you what gonna do you wrestle? mean? Who you gonna wrestle? I'll about? wrestle some chick in there. There's no chick in there. Huh? There's no chick in There's there. There's no chick in there? Well, who am I gonna wrestle then? Me or my trainer. And he's I'll the, wrestle your trainer. Yeah, he's scary. You don't want to wrestle David? I'm not close. wrestling you. You don't want to get close to his dick? What, Red Band? My trainer? Oh, go to Instagram. What does he look like? You about to see. He looks he looks like his Instagram is B A Let's give it up for Yonder Wizard. Yeah. B A L I A N Taksu T A K. B A L I A N. Is he Asian? A N. There it is, Raul Ramirez. So you think he would teach me? Uh, I'll bring you in there with me a couple of times. He's a here. PhD in what? Whooping ass. Like, bro, just click on... Like, this motherfucker looks nice, but he's, like, deadly. Which one is he, left or right? The one who's taking the motherfucker down. Bro, he whoops my ass. And look how small he is. How, how tall is he? Probably about 5'8". What are those jalapeno peppers? My Whoa, God. he's got somebody in a weird chokehold. Let me see. Is that his parrot? <laughs> He was wrestling in England. Is that him on the left? Yeah. <coughs> With the black hair. Toe hold submission. That motherfucker's dangerous, bro. What is this weird restaurant where they are fighting? <laughs> right, brother. That's how it is over where there. Where is it? <laughs> that's a fogo de chow. <laughs> yeah, what that's is a, that? That's some Asian shit, bro. Like, people fucking <laughs> break his leg. Well, yeah, go down some more. This motherfucker. Have you ever met his parrot? That's me when I when we first. Oh, there you are. That motherfucker whooped my ass. Do y'all get along? Yeah, we're we're great. But he doesn't even look like he would know how to do half of the. You know what I'm saying? Like he looks friendly and nice. Like he. How much do you have to pay a month? You got to pay somebody. Bro, you you asking too many questions. But you can get me in there. Yes, I need to learn how to do all that stuff. Oh, you fucking go down. There's a video. Where is it? Where is it? He's like kicking this dude. He kicks a white guy. Is that the one? I think right there. Don't you want to be? Don't you want to be able to know how to do that? It's like if somebody attacks, he's gently. Oh. <laughs> if you ever attack in slow motion. <laughs> if you ever attack in slow motion. <laughs> He's a Martin Luther King clip. I wonder what clip that is. Oh, God. Here we go with your Martin no, Luther King. I've been to the mountaintop. America must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society, which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. 
But in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. What is it that America Whoa. has to hear? I like it. A riot is the, the language of the unheard. Yeah. I'll go to that one. I think Damn. That's my, I think it's my favorite one. A toe, uh, a toe. Leg lock, yeah. <laughs> I farted when he had me the submission before. Was that a real fart? Yeah, what was that noise? <laughs> I think the dude tapped out. I think he tapped out with his hand. Bro, you know who tapped me, though? Little Jeffrey Burner, did I tell you? Oh, yeah. That Jeffrey Burner tapped me, bro, stronger. with a cross face. With I'm, a what? Cross face. I'm 300 What's pounds. That? Jeffrey Burner probably weighs 160 on a good day. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres has, got, has the COVID now. Should be all right. I don't know. She's an old lady. Yeah, she's a lesbian. I don't. How do they? T- how do they handle it? <laughs> I don't know. Do they handle it all right? <laughs> what's the? You, what's the last time you think she's been penetrated by some dick? Probably. Probably when she was fourteen. Probably <laughs> <laughs> when she. And he was. And he girl. was forty. <laughs> Ellen, I have COVID, but feeling fine. Would you hit that, Will? Tell your face that, Ellen. Who, Ellen? Yeah. Yeah, I love the short haircut. She looks like one of the uh, the Daywalker vampires from Blade. You know, she she used to look better. I think. Like I, I Joe used to yeah. always have always have this question: Who would you rather fuck, Ellen or Oprah? And I would always say Ellen, but now I would say Oprah. I'd rather fuck Gail. Oprah's oh, friend. Yeah, Gail would be fine. Gail got ass. Who's Gail? Gail King, Oprah's bitch. Yeah. Gail King. There's William with his new haircut. Oh no, that's Action Brunson, ain't it? He lost 130 pounds. Yeah. What's he doing? Working out with that guy? I don't know, but I need to ask him his diet secrets. I, I'd probably gain like 15 pounds having COVID. You know who lost a lot of weight from the comedy store is that Jessica Wellington. Have you seen her? Yeah, she did. Yeah. How's she look? She lost like shit load, like 100 pounds. She probably like a, she was bigger than me, bro. She was like 400 pounds. Good for her, yeah, she was scary looking. <laughs> she would always give me a bad look. And she got like her lips pierced and a fucking mohawk. Mm-hmm. She always scared me. I think her breakup made her lose weight. You know, chicks lose. She was like she was a, engaged. She was or engaged. Yeah, yeah, she to a girl, a guy. She likes. She likes dick. what? She likes black guys. I'll tell you who she. What? Fucked. I'll tell you who she fucked off. Yeah, at. not being mean, but I always assumed she was a lesbian. No. Not being mean at all. I just totally assume she looks like a lesbian. Would you rather hit? Not being mean at all. Would you rather? That's just what I always thought. Who would you? Rather I was hit? off. I was wrong. Wow. Nah, I ain't gonna ask that on air because that can possibly get to him. <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask that on air. Yeah, many, well, don't do it then. Too many people from the comedy store watch this shit, and then it'll just be like, oh. "Don't do it then." Byron Redman, who the fuck? Is Byron that? Redman. So, uh, the Mandalorian, uh, the latest episode, they have a character named Byron Redman, and it's spelled just like Brian Redman, except a, you know a little off. <laughs> and the weird how thing, did that happen? The weird thing is, if you look at the picture of the guy. There's like a seven right below it. You know, seven's like the thing I always do. Are you gonna Are you gonna file a lawsuit? No, man. I think that's cool. It is cool. Who did that? Though? I wonder who's a writer for them who did that. I don't know. No, I think it's like Tate Fletcher. He uh, he was in it. He was really? The, yeah, Tate Fletcher was the uh, the like a main role. He was one Tate of the Mandalorians. Fletcher be making money, bro. But how? He bro, the motherfucker probably got fifty movies under his belt. Yeah. And just imagine if he make forty thousand from each one. You do the math. Mm-hmm. Forty thousand times two hundred. Forty thousand times fifty. That's two million. How do you do that so fast? I don't know, bro. Yeah, here's Tate Fletcher as the heavy Mandalorian unit. That's cool. is it? Yeah. I, I remember meeting him at the behind the comedy store. I know Tate Fletcher. He's nice. I like that. At guy. minimum, got two hundred thousand for that role. At minimum, yeah. or maybe six, he got six figures for that. Look at that. Damn, Tate. That's my dog. I was just talking to Tate. But look at it. He has a like he has one of those character looks that you need in yeah, like, any film about uh people over there like uh killing people in Iraq or a fucking action movie. You he need. looks like a James Bond villain. Yeah. <laughs> and he's how big is Tate? Like six three? Something like that. Well my mom's been calling me. Should I call her? I, yeah, I, answer. answer it. She said, please call me. Let me ask. Uh-oh. Let me ask. Let me ask her. Give it here. Wait, it might be important. Hello? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Fine. 
Why do you say pretty good? There's a lot going on right now. What? God, just traffic. I hit another car. Did you really hit another car? Yeah, some black person this time. How? They're just there. T-boned them. They had their loud music. You're lying. They had their, they had I their, T-boned them. They had their loud music. No, you didn't. I T-boned them. His name <laughs> was T-boned. That's a big lie, William. No, it's not. Why'd you text me and say, call me immediately? That scared me. I said, please call me. What's wrong? Don't tell me. (laughs) (laughs) Would it be better for That's so dumb. (laughs) And you know what? What I don't understand is why in the world, if you, if you're, door really flew open and Volvo fixed it, Volvo should have to pay that chick's dent. Think about it. It's their fault. Well, I'll think about it. (laughs) Yeah, I paid her $1,000 last week. Yeah, but that's ridiculous. Volvo should have to. I mean, because they're the ones that mess the car up. I hear you. Well, I don't know what to do. I feel stuck. I got kicked out of my place. What place? The place in Echo Park. What's Echo Park? That's where I was living for the past year. Why'd you get kicked out? Because I wasn't there enough, and they got tired of it, and they threw all my stuff out. That's a lie. William, I no more believe any of that. Do you pay your rent? Yeah, I've been paying my rent. Well, then they can't, they didn't kick it out. You're making stuff up. Totally making it up. Okay, well, I... boy, William, this is why I called you. Why? I'm so sad you're not coming home for Christmas. And what I want to know is I'm going to spend one whole day baking stuff for you and Papa's going to overnight it. And what I want to know, I'm going to do it on Sunday. What, tell me... Everything you want. I want chocolate chip cookies. Who is that? <laughs> That's David. He's sitting right here. Hey, David. How are you? Hey, William won't be there, but I'll be there for Christmas. And Red Band's here, too. William, say that you want, and for I Christmas, you went to move to Austin. Red Band, I'm so upset with you for moving. <laughs> well, William has to move to Austin also. But, I mean, I'm really, really upset you're moving. <laughs> Well, are you sure that's a good idea? Los Angeles is dead. There's no bi- there's no work here. I'm saving a lot of money moving to Austin, and I just bought a house, so I, I'm paying less uh, for a house than an apartment, and I can work. I know that's great. I mean, I would hate living in LA, but I just am sad because who's going to do their brothers in person? Well, William and David has to move to Austin. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> Uh, then, it, then they, then but they. I, I'm concerned that, about it because you're important for their little show. Little. <laughs> I agree. He's very. Yeah. I mean, what are they gonna do? I, they have to move to Austin. They are can we, save a lot of money and work, and be closer really to you. Y'all gotta get something. Y'all gotta get something going quick. You can't just not do that. I mean, you got to. You can't. Red Band's gonna Red Band's gonna leave all all his equipment for us. Well, y'all really get on it because I hate for it to go under. Okay, well I'll uh, I'll call you. I want some angel cookies. Ooh, angel yeah. cookies! I know I want angel cookies. They're delicious. I'll send some to y'all too. Mm. Yeah, you should. Because Red Band okay, will still be me. here. We need to. Yeah, you need to send us a good Christmas spread. Okay, what do you want besides angel cookies? Uh, what else? I don't know. I, st- I start forgetting. Well, do you want an almond tart? Yeah, an almond tart. <laughs> do you want brownies? Brownies. Green beans. Do you want chocolate chip cookies? Chocolate Hell chip yes. cookies? But you can't eat many of them. You've got to share them because you got to lose about 40 pounds. Or 50. <laughs> Me too. I know, okay. Okay, well, I love you, sweet boy. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Y'all get going, bye. Bye. Isn't she a sweetheart? 
Sweet Francis. I guess making the angel cookies. I always liked the angel cookies growing up. Is old boy going to be there saying his speech again? Mm. We're going to miss an update. I know. I know. I know. I regret that. You, See, I don't know even if I went to Memphis if we'd be going over to my cousin's house with the COVID everywhere. Yeah. Maybe you could just like get tested right before you go on the plane and wear like two masks and a, you know just be extra protected. The planes are probably safer. Than I know. I mean, both of y'all have said it's safe. I believe it's safe. I'm not too worried about it. I just wonder. And now a quick word from our amazing sponsors. I'm not even going to lie. I'm a comedian. I get bored. I got a lot of downtime at home. And I do look at a lot of porn. And as you know, porn sends a lot of spams. And I don't want that shit to pop up when my daughter is using my phone. And I know a lot of you are like, why don't you use incognito mode? But let me tell you something. Incognito mode does not hide your activities. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. That's why even when I'm at home, I never go online without using ExpressVPN. It doesn't matter if you get your internet from Verizon or Comcast. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It just runs in the background. It's easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and you're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices also, including phones, computers, and even your smart TV. So there's no excuse for you to not be using it. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by CNET and Wired. Visit my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash brothers. And you can also get an extra three months for free on a one-year package. That's ExpressVPN, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, VPN.com slash brothers. ExpressVPN.com slash brothers to learn more. Brothers in Cursive is brought to you by Lucy Nicotine. Me and Will are both trying to be healthier. You know, I'm trying to stop vaping as much. I'm trying to exercise, eat a little better. What are you trying to do, Will? Trying to stop eating Smarties and stop smoking uh, camels. Good. So, you know, this is perfect for, for you. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by Caltech scientists to make a tobacco alternative that doesn't taste bad. Researched and developed for three years to be made for people, not patients. Lucy has a, created a nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that comes in three flavors, wintergreen, cinnamon, pomegranate. pomegranate. Lucy also has lozenge with four milligrams of nicotine in cherry ice flavor. Each and every flavor actually tastes great. And it's a convenient and discreet. Products can be enjoyed anywhere, on flights, at work, on the go, or even in the gym. The trick is to have it for when you need it. Be prepared. Like, I really need it on the airplane this past weekend. I wanted to hit my vape so bad, Will. It's 2020. Get rid of your cigarettes. Unplug your vape. Throw out your dip. And get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple, and you don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Just for, Just our, for listen, our listeners, go to Lucy.com. Just for our going to say that together. Just for our listeners, go to Lucy.co and use promo code Brothers to get twenty percent off all products, including gum or lozenges. That's Lucy.co dot and use promo code Brothers at checkout. Also, I have to give this disclaimer warning. This product contains nicotine uh, to derived from tobacco. Nicotine is very addictive. As hell. It's an addictive chemical. But go to Lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code BROTHERS to get 20% off today. I'm, I might kick my vape right now with Lucy's. Hey, but when I was in Houston, dog, I had some great, great food. I mean, um... Look at this, bro. This is from the turkey. Hey, that's crazy right here, man. That's a smoke, smoke quinoa or, or smoke, rice on the outside. That's a smoked turkey yeah, leg sure. stuffed with uh, Buddha and rice. That sounds great. With lemon pepper. Oh, it was so amazing. That was. It does look good, bro. The shit was. The meat was literally falling off the bones. It and, sounds wonderful. And Texas also has some of the most beautiful women ever. Mm -hmm. Does that? When I was in Texas, Te is a big state. Yeah. 
When I was in Texas, you know what a white lady told me? What? She she said, howdy. Mm-hmm. What'd you say? I didn't know what to say. I just kept walking. Oh, my gosh. Well, next time you need to say something. I'm supposed to say howdy back. How was the Waffle House? I saw you were at Waffle House. It was the Waffle House. It was. I love Waffle House. The same recipe. I didn't know Waffle House was in Texas. Do you it's, not like a red man? It's all right. I'm not, I'm not one be, of those freaks that you like You got to be drunk to eat yeah. it. Like in Ohio, Waffle Houses were always connected to strip bars and like gross places. Were they? And so every time you go to Waffle House, you're like, oh, I feel like I'm going to die here. You know? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, the worse the neighborhood, the better the Waffle House. Yeah, I that's love normally, it. That's normally how it works. Like if, if you feel like you're in imminent danger, the Waffle House is probably amazing. What was the temperature down there? Was it cold? Cold as a bitch, bro. Fri- oh, yeah. Last week it was cold. Oh, my reason. God. Friday, dog, they didn't tell me the show was outside, and they didn't tell me that it was cold as fuck. So we performed outside Friday night. Bro, I damn near lost my voice. <laughs> How cold was I? Bro, I prefer, 30s or I 40s? Say 40s. It was, I was cold. Yeah, was, that's cold. I was cold, cold. Yeah, I was pretty upset because I was there for a week in Austin, which is like not as cold as how Houston was, mm-hmm. but it was like 40s and 50s. And then literally the day we left, it was like all 70s. Yeah, this week. the day yeah. Tuesday when I was coming back, it was warm. Yeah, because well, Houston is closer to the water, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's right on the water. You ever been in Texas? Are oh, you gonna be in Houston for uh, the Skank Fest? Yeah, if they have it, they invited me. Well, they the lady emailed me a couple of weeks ago, like it's gonna be in March. You could pro- Whoa, I never got the second email. I never got that email. Oh, you didn't either? You could probably have a, a festival in Houston right now, bro. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're probably weird on festivals, though. Like, because you have to have a permit for a festival, you know, where, like, a bar uh, doesn't need a permit to have bro. people. Are people still getting all COVID everywhere down there? Yeah. Uh, I'm just glad I had COVID before I went, so I have some type of antibodies, and like Fauci said, the T-cells. Mm-hmm. Bro, they, I was in Houston, and I was asking people, like, y'all not scared to go out? It was like, oh, man, ain't nobody scared to catch a cold. And I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty crazy. I, I got to eat. There's a place called Great Watch, I think it is, a breakfast place. Have you ever heard mm-hmm. of it? No. Uh, it's pretty good. It's in Texas. I love it. I can't wait to go to Austin. I'm not even lying. I went, and I, we had, had breakfast inside. It was, like, open like normal. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Like, people, people who live in L.A. talk about, Will this come back? Will that come back? Like, L.A. is a depiction of the whole world. Mm-hmm. Like, everywhere except L.A. is open. Right. Even if you drive to, Orange to San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. Or, or Orange County, they're open. They're eating in restaurants. L.A. in uh, San yeah. Francisco. It's like, bro, go, like, <laughs> I was eating in restaurants in Vegas doing comedy shows. We just did a comedy. We just did a comedy show in Houston with a packed audience. Nobody had a mask on. Nobody gave a fuck about nothing. So it's like. The liberals in L.A. might still be a little crazy when shit goes back. What do y'all think about Elon Musk going to Texas? Hell yeah. I heard that. What does that even mean? What does that mean? That he's about to turn Texas into yeah, L.A.? Yeah, he wants to turn it into the next, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, Silicon Valley. Bro. And HP just announced they're moving to Austin. But that's just going to, it's just going to make Austin like L.A. Well, there's a lot more room for it. I mean, in five years, y'all going to be like, damn, Austin sucks. No, you just remember in five years when I said you should have bought a house or something. And well, I'm selling my house for like four times more than I bought it. Oh, uh, shit. Well, sadly, I don't have the capital to buy a house right now. I mean, you will you buy a, lo- you get will a loan. In, you will in a couple of years. I don't know how to get a loan. I don't even pay for my car insurance. William doesn't even have credit. He don't got a credit yes, card. So. Yeah, I don't have credit. He's a baby. I forgot. I'm like a child. It's all good, bro. You know, next year when shit gets rolling, I'll send you. Just ask Andy for an accountant. They'll handle everything. They'll tell you if it's a good decision for you to buy a house, what you can afford, all that. Yeah, well, I don't know. Next, next, we talked about a lot. You'll be fine. We'll see. Next year, you. I mean, we could get a house in Austin right now. You could rent a house in Austin. But it's just I would have to take care. I would have to take care of two households. Can't give it to my place here. Let's see what the house is looking like. All right, let's type in. Let's look. Here, while y'all are doing that, should I call my brother and see how he's doing with the COVID? Oh yeah. Who? Seldom. He's over it now, right? I think he's. There's a house for seventy-seven thousand dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, let's go for sale. For sale. Go to that ninety-seven thousand dollars house for three bed. Like what the. All right, so can you pay $500 a month? 
Can you pay five hundred dollars a month? <laughs> I can pay. How do you get pre qualified? Hold up. Like this must be a mobile home. Like no, they, not mobile home, but that thing that uh, what you call it got Holtzman, no, the it's modular. Not. It's not a modular home. That's a real home. Yeah, it's new too. Three bedroom, two baths. How is that possible for five hundred dollars? Like how? Because you're. You, I'm been trying to tell you guys. <laughs> Like, look, let's just look at a $70,000 house. Where's, like, the downtown area of Can that? you pay $365 a month? <laughs> Can you do that? You piss off $365 a month, will you? You could pay that with just what your, your, your Patreon numbers. I hear ya. No, you don't. I hear ya. <laughs> like, I tell you guys things, and you guys just are like, yep. No, I'm listening. <laughs> Where's I'm like listening. down? Where's like downtown Austin? I've never even seen the map of Austin. Where I'm gonna take my kids? Where's they, like downtown? Right here. They don't. They don't want to be in Texas. Mm-hmm. I want that house for ninety seven thousand. Go back there. I'm really thinking about this motherfucker. Go back it's to Oven this. Run. Oh, or go to that one for ninety two thousand over there. It looks a little better. That one ninety two thousand. Dalmatian Lane. Four eighty five. Oh, that's a real uh, what you call a house. I don't want that. That's a what you call a house. A what house? The the ones they bring on the truck. Hey, Trailer? Let's just, up, let's just go up to $200,000. I... I don't even want to know what a million dollar house looks like. Honestly. It probably look crazy. All right. $200, Why is a one bedroom, one bath for 170000 Probably the area. Oh. What uh, else? Here. $164,000, one bedroom, one bath. I don't. That's not enough. Uh, let's see. I mean, you got better options when it was cheaper. What the? F- <laughs> the more expensive it gets, one bath, one. Yeah, but still, two bedrooms, two baths, fourteen hundred dollars. That's pretty nice. So, like condo. Yeah. That's 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 that. Well, like be... the dirt yard. Yeah, I don't got cut no grass. No, I can't. Yeah, I don't. Let's just look up the rent. Five seventy five. Let's do uh, up to, let's do, let's do, let's do $2,000, oh, no, $1,500. see what we got here. Um, here, it's 1100 Let's see what this is. That's nice. All right, so this is pretty nice. Yeah. 1000 and those gyms are open, I bet. Thousand bucks a month. You both pay five hundred dollars. <sighs> I mean, it sounds so appealing. I'm not gonna lie. I tell you what, if you were just to go to Austin for a week and I'm, look at a couple paces, you would immediately go, "Okay, I just need to do." I this. mean, I'm gonna go the week that Kill Tony does his first live show back, right? And I'm gonna scope. We're gonna carpool out there and scope it out. We're yeah, gonna road trip. So that's the plan. Just gotta let us know what it is so we can plan this motherfucker. How much gas do you think we need to get there? About three tanks. Yeah, three, four tanks. <laughs> it's actually How in the gas. Gas and the, there. the gas was uh, a I think dollar. The cheapest we saw is like a dollar. Bro, that shit was a dollar forty in Houston. I was like, what the? Fu- How is this a dollar? Like cost of living. The the minimum wage is not that big a difference in Houston to California to where gas should be a dollar. It's just because that's where all the gas oil is. All, all the oil is down yeah. there. So they yeah. take care of themselves. And you probably get some good gas down there. Yeah, you some, get to clean. It's fresh. Some, right. <laughs> it's still hot. Oh, you know what else they also had? They had like weird things at the gas stations where you'd you'd be pumping gas and it says, would you like to add like so-and-so to your gas? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like extras, like, like extra they got, shots. They got that shit in Georgia. Yeah. It's kind of like celery. They? Like celery juice for your gas. Tank. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going <laughs> at aerobics or something. <laughs> What are you thinking, William? I don't know. I know what he's thinking, but I ain't going to say it. What do you mean you know what I'm thinking? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. You know. What do you mean I know what you're talking about? I was playing. What do you mean you know what you're talking about? I don't know. What I generally tend to wonder is whenever, uh, whenever the vaccine comes out, I assume that'll be soon. Uh, I just wonder, uh, generally, would I rather, I mean, you've read me and you've been here for many years. You have a good thing going. 
I'm in a different position than you. I generally wonder with what I'm trying to do is is that happening in LA or Austin? I tend to think LA. What are you trying to but do? But again, no, I mean just in regards to stand up and stuff. Obviously, Gil Tony's been the biggest thing that's happened to me here. I've loved it. It's been wonderful. I love all of y'all. It's nothing but positive thoughts about that. It's nothing but positive. But I just wonder if if everything opens back up relatively soon, would I rather That's not gonna happen. Be here or there. I'm saying it. Just generally speaking soon, if there's okay, let's, a vaccine, let's, just, let's say I know, but let's say vaccine, everybody in the world gets the vaccine. All right. So how long do you think that's going to take? That's I say. Six I months. don't know. I would say about I six don't know. months, six months for, uh, L, for California. I'd say because my baby mama's hospital is getting the next week. Mm-hmm. But that's only for the first, right. you know, people that work in the hospital. Right. She's getting the next week. Right. So I'll see if her face twist up. Yeah, I right. <laughs> I honestly think uh, how long it would take for, let's say, the comedy store to open up and have crowds indoors. I say April, May. I would say about May, maybe longer. So that's where I do think. Would it be beneficial to move down there for a, a short amount of interim time? Yeah, but you, might, coming move, up. you might move down there. And you're immediately going to be able to do stand up comedy, you know. Every that is ve- that is the and one thing. That's why I, I say- hear you. I don't disagree. Will, I'm just really trying to think about Will, it. That's I don't disagree. I hear you. That's why I said I don't like. I'd come to Austin once a month, you know, to or I just it, it, like for me, I got to take care of two households. Right. Even me and you are in two different right. situations to some extent. Right. Even that, even we are in two different situations. You don't got no, you don't got no children. <laughs> yeah, right. William, you could leave anytime you want. You have probably barely anything to your name because you don't even go to your house ever. So you <laughs> obviously don't have anything big or crazy. You could probably pack one car up, go, <laughs> go live in Austin for six months, and then come back if you wanted to. But I have a feeling once Rogan opens up this club and the comedy's booming and shit, it's going to be so nice doing stand-up in Texas, and then you could just come to L.A. and do stand-up here if you want to for a week or whatever and come back. But I think the old days of having to be in Los Angeles to make it in this world and all that crap like that, that's with, over. With social you, media, yeah, that is over. Right. I don't disagree. I think you're correct. If, if anything, Los Angeles might be deader than Texas because, look, Los Angeles has a huge problem with the homeless and crazy people and crime right now. There's, like, so much bad shit going on other than COVID in this city. That, and it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. You know, like, like I don't, I don't, I miss the days where I thought LA was kind of safe and, you know, cool. Now you just fucking drive. There's people running red lights. There's fucking, you know, there's people. <laughs> Maria getting, De Los, Los Angeles was yeah, running into your car. Yeah. Yeah. There's robberies and shit like that. <laughs> Every I second, hear you. Even Burbank, like. Never Burbank never used to be on that citizen app where you could check to see all the crime around you. Now Burbank's fucking got shit all over the place happening. Right. Red Ben has fell out of love with LA. Yeah, I'm done. I haven't fell out of love with it yet. I feel like me and LA have a toxic relationship. I hate this bitch and I love this bitch at the same time. It's yeah. like LA, why do you make me pay so much money for an apartment? Right. Yeah. It's bullshit. You know how hard it is to get ahead in this city? It's just for like, me. You can still you can have a TV show and still be in a shitty two bedroom apartment. <laughs> it's just for I hear you. it's just for me. I ain't worked a, a, a job like reg- like if Rogan's club was open right now, I'd be on the first thing smoking to Austin. But I ain't trying to go work for nobody. I got hand tattoos. I'm about to have a neck tattoo. Yeah, but you could do like if you just want to be like a door guy, you could be a door guy at like a cool bar in LA. Or I mean in Austin. Yeah, but I need to be a comedy bar. Like, comedy well, you, bar. there's comedy places out there that are open right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that can be when I go down there. I'll I'll meet with everybody. I know things to think about. I'm, you know, the guy that used to own uh, here the Sycamore Tavern. Uh, the oh, he's in Austin. Yeah, he's in Austin. He has a place. He tried to get me to do a show this week, and I'm like, I'm not here. Oh, but he has a club there now. So there we go. When I go to Austin, you can get a job with that guy. I'm gonna be like, hey, Red Pad, put me on the hall. <laughs> Yeah, because I got to be down yeah. there making money. I can't just be down there spending, 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 and it's like my savings is gone. 
Well, and, and plus, if you yeah, guys right. move out here, we could be doing the Patreon and shit like that and be making money from this. I, I want to stay with you, though. That's what I'm saying. I know. Me, too. <laughs> I want to I stay, I totally, stay with Red Band. You got to be my totally. guardian. I'm still a kid. Shut up. That's why I don't want you guys to stay. <laughs> I, I got a new house. And I don't want people shitting in my sinks. <laughs> who, who does that? William will probably do that. Well, you should have said William would get us Yeah, kicked. you need to let me stay at your place for a month. All me and Will need is a let room. Let me look around. All we need is I'd a be room. respectful. No, you will. You shit Let's my talk shot. about this off, <laughs> off on camera. What's on your hand? <laughs> oh, God. What, what, it's from the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was poop. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Red Man, let us stay with you. Yeah, let's talk, talk about it off yeah, camera. Let us stay yeah, with you, Red Man. Yeah, let's see your, Red your, your you money where your you. mouth is. <laughs> you got to see. Let's see. Yeah, let's talk about it off camera. Are you going to do the dishes and clean the bathroom? I'm going to use yeah, paper no, plates. Yeah, no, we can talk about I'm it. I'm going to use Again, paper plates. Paper I'm, plates. I'm, I'm theoretically speaking way more open. And again, maybe this is something we talk about off the thing. But if I don't have to go down there with my little bit of unemployment money and struggle to find a place and struggle to find a job, but I can just fucking stay with you and be respectful, I would be tentatively thinking about it really right now. I'd be way more open to it. Way. I'd be way more way. open to it. Let's just talk about it off camera. What if we have William stay with us and we don't have to get a maid? No, I mean, generally I no, speaking, pro- I'm. The problem is, I don't William want to dr- not have a fucking job. The problem is, William will get drunk one time and then he'll be putting cigarette butts all over the. Fucking I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Y'all aren't wrong. I totally. I enjoy partaking in in beverages. I enjoy, but if I'm if I'm again, this is probably something to talk about off. I can be relatively speaking respectful to where I'm. Absolutely. I, yeah, without a doubt. You know what though? I bet there's somebody listening in Austin that's a super fan that has a <laughs> has a room Red that they will let you stay. <laughs> you could be right. I don't know. <laughs> you might be right. Don't you have a garage? I don't know. You can give us the garage. Give us a garage. Right. Give us the garage. We're just asking for a garage. <laughs> give us the garage. You could, maybe the garage. No, oh, the yeah, car can park in the That's driveway. The <laughs> oh my God, Janice! <laughs> Y'all got a dog, like <laughs> God. You have a couple of dogs, <laughs> <laughs> and these dogs can't get. <laughs> no, it's something to think about. We should talk about it after. The... Just something to generally think about. I think. I think if because anyone... I understand what you're coming from. See me? Yeah, maybe you don't want me coming to stay with you. I get it. And I get Red Band. I'm not in a fantasy world. I understand that. Red, ba- <laughs> Red Literally, ba- I'm not in a fantasy world. I get that. But I'm just saying I would be respectful if I'm... Yeah, but see, tr- you say you'll be respectful, but I know you just take you one time to be drunk, and then I'll be like, what are you doing? And you don't even know what you're doing. And you're like laying naked on the front yard <laughs> with poop all that over the place. That wouldn't happen. That's not, a th- that's not a thing. That's only happened once. I've never done that. But I hear, again, I'm not dumb. I understand what you're saying. The only thing is, you guys said you would give me content, but you didn't. So if we're at your house, we have no choice. (laughs) Yeah, right. I mean, at the point where it's happening, y'all are moving. David has COVID. I'm thinking, what's going on with all this? I know we're going to keep doing it. but It's a live view of my house right now. What if you just saw a black man running? A... <laughs> what would you do if you just saw a man? <laughs> Glad them niggas go. <laughs> How many cameras do you have in there? Three. You wouldn't be able to do shit, Will. Red Man see you everywhere. Yeah. Red Man is really big. Again, guy. y'all see me as like a crazy person. I'm, <laughs> I'm generally pretty low-key a lot of the time. That cannot be a live view. There's no way that's right now. No, this was uh, a couple hours ago. No. Well, again, thanks to think about. I think it's where does Tony live? What he lives about twenty minutes from me. So where do you live? I live North Austin. Tony lives more in like downtown Austin area. Gotcha. Yeah, things to think about. Ask Tony, can he get us a kill Tony house? That's, I think you should team up with Michael Lair. He's moving. That motherfucker fucked too much. <laughs> <laughs> for a motherfucker in a wheelchair, he fuck a lot. 
You think? I know. How Will you know? He told me. He told me about his escapade in Florida. I mean, you guys I mean are, is he moving with his nurse? But see, what I'm saying is, is like if there's three of you or even four of you, you can get a fucking huge house to the point where you could live in a whole different section of the house. That, but if we live with Michael Larry, we probably got to take care of him. No, his nurse slash girlfriend is coming. But he'll probably get rid of her so he can fuck bitches. No, I don't think so. I think he. I don't just, know. I get things to think about. I hear what you're saying. I don't know. But this is all in this. This is all in like three weeks. Which isn't impossible, but it's not like we're what talking about. What are you doing in three weeks, though? You should have nothing. I to- hear you. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not arguing. I'm just saying it's really su- it's sudden. You could literally. I'm nothing against it. I'm you just could saying literally it's sudden. pack in your pack your car and you guys could drive there and fucking just start looking around or talk, call Michael Lair tomorrow. And you guys all do it together. Yeah. Well, let's drop that beat so we can get out of here. Yeah, I we got a, we got a new we got a new beat. Let's see what this one about. Oh, we haven't done questions yet. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Uh, Patreon.com, Brothers Podcast. Uh, we did a live mukbang today, uh, so you could watch them eat. They never had the McRib, uh, so they ate the McRib today and also tried all the Whataburger sauces. Ew. Uh, yeah. Today's questions uh, are, let's see what we got here. Um, wow, we got a lot of questions. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Uh, William, what is your best hangover cure? Uh, just a good McDonald's uh, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit and two hash browns. Wow. Okay. Uh, what was your guys' first experience with drugs or alcohol? Uh, first experience <clears throat> with alcohol. I was probably <clears throat> I was probably like 14 in the Bahamas. 13, 14 in the Bahamas, and I drank, a, uh, I think it was a Bahama Mama, actually. Ooh. Yeah, it was pretty good. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah, I was about 14 also. I mean, I, I don't count, like, putting chili or beer in my chili when I was a kid. My dad <laughs> used to always let me put my, his uh, old Milwaukee in there. No oh, nice. How old were you, Will, when you first drank? I remember going down to Dustin, Florida. Um, I was probably three or four years old, and my... Uh, Wonderful grandmother, B. Vance, gave me a baby bottle, and I'm pretty sure there was whiskey in it with Coca-Cola. Wow. Really? Because I remember it tasting a certain way. That's weird. As a little boy. And maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I better remember that. Question for Williams. I'd like to know the pros and cons. This is from Stee. Uh, I'd like to know the pros and cons to having a mentally unstable, violently aggressive girl. All right. Yeah, uh, for the record, I love Erica. We get along very well. I love her. There's nothing bad about it. I regret in the past saying anything about her. Uh, So people quit asking me about that because it genuinely bothers me. Stop asking me about that. (laughs) Ryan Franklin asks, since David got COVID, do you think that William deserves to be invited to Red Band's place for tacos and barbecue? Should David lose his barbecue get-together card? Hmm. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I still want to be in a barbecue with y'all. I just don't want poop all over my place. Uh, <laughs> do William and Red Band think that psychedelics had a notable positive effect on the creativity? And if so, how important do you think those experiences are? Is David missing out? I think definitely. Yeah, it's definitely helped me positively. Uh, the podcast you weren't at, David. Remember when I ate those mushroom pills? Oh, yeah. Tell us what Dude, happened. Dude, Red Band. What happened? Oh, my God. With Janice? It, so he kept on, t- he had these fucking, m- mushroom it pills. It turned bad. I'm not being dramatic. Oh, what happened? It turned bad. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What, tell us what's How many did you eat? Erica picked me up. I didn't have a sweatshirt or anything on it. I had my Birkenstocks on. We decided to go to Universal Studios. Oh, no. Get a bucket of these wonderful <laughs> donuts. I don't know where it was from, oh, but these voodoo, wonderful donuts. Voodoo donuts. Voodoo donuts. Not voodoo. It was somewhere else. It was like little miniature donuts. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. But I, I just remember I had a fucking horrible time. Like what? So you, When I got back, nothing to do with her, nothing with that. Just I was tripping. So hard. 
I was tripping pretty good and not having fun, and I felt <laughs> overwhelmed. Really? And at one point, I was thinking, do I run outside of this house? Where do I go if I run outside of this house? <laughs> I don't know. I had a legitimately horrible time. I'm not kidding. Like a panic it attack? It was panicky as fuck. Wow. Dude. It was really panicky. How many did you take? He took the whole pack. I took the whole pack, but it was like, it still wasn't, I don't know, half an eighth or something. Where'd you get them from? He he had, so there were like four pills or something like that. It was horrible, Janice. It was so bad. Instead of waiting like 15 15 minutes or half hour, he just kept on taking them. Where'd you get them from, Will? It was really bad. Some guy gave it to him. It was really bad. It was not fun at all. How long did it last? Like the panicky part. An hour or two. Oh, gosh. Was Erica helping you out, or did you just... I was just sort of laying on the bed with her, watching television, just trying to relax. Mm, I was, I swear to God, horribly on edge. Did you have visuals? No. Things were looking weird, and I was thinking weird, so I knew I was tripping, but it was... I, I remember... It was really not fun. <laughs> it was horrible. I remember before... It was really bad. Before, uh... Before I left uh, and you were still here, I remember talking to you and just you, you your eyes started getting you, like you started feeling like you, you look looking like you're tripping. But I started feeling like I was tripping just being around. I remember you, you saying that kind of <laughs> you didn't take any. No, I didn't take anything, but I felt like I was tripping after talking to him. <clears throat> Damn. Son. Those donuts. I ended up eating the whole bucket of donuts. It was like 30 donuts. <laughs> what the fuck? It was like small donuts. They were to die for. I wish I could shout that place out. It was wonderful i had all those donuts that night it man wow. it came in like uh, uh you know, i can remember the buck i know what he's talking about so you went to city walk are you talking about sparky yeah trish no trish has many donuts yeah I yeah awesome. that's it we got like a big ass bucket there they go you get the cinnamon and sugar ones yep cinnamon and yeah. sugar wow and i remember i didn't have a sweatshirt on and i had to open show to uh open toe shoes on <laughs> that's weird i should have just said sandals <laughs> open-toed shoes yeah. sounds weird that sounds like high school rules <laughs> you see his shoes he's wearing now he's got like fancy shoes he's got a dodger shirt on but he has really fancy shoes on i got these on uh so, put your cyber feet monday put your feet up on the table i can't i gotta tt so bad what shoes are those all right let's get through the question some loafers baby what what brand but those donuts for anybody watching they were to die for i had a whole bucket the wow. thing on the left 24 donuts 36 donuts. So, yeah, it was 36. Wow. What, what's another I didn't question? eat all of them, but I ate probably 30. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, uh, William has harassed the faces of Perry, Dom, Chroma. Okay. All right. How did William feel when Michael Lair stole his thunder as a Kill Tony regular at the beginning of the year? I was excited about Michael. He didn't steal my thunder. He did his thing. And it was wonderful, and I love Michael. He's hilarious. And I hope to see him soon. It's sad, not at the Comedy Store on Mondays. Michael's hilarious. Uh, Philly F says, Hey, William, I met you eight years ago back in the PCP 12 days, and I wanted to let you know I finally cracked the code, and all I got to say is you're a rude, rude boy. Can I get a wink to me, get me through 2020? Okay. What's a PCP-12? I think you meant maybe PCB-12, Panama City Beach, uh, Spring Break 2012. Uh, I think. I don't know. Question for everyone. What's the worst gift you ever received? I mean, grandmas give pretty bad gifts. So I would get bullshit like socks and T-shirts as a kid. That's nothing. Kids don't give a fuck about clothes. But from an adult... I used to have this. Uh, I used to have this cougar. I used to fuck with. She actually gave me a Bible with my name on it, and I'm not religious. And she gave me a crock pot. Well, crock pots are crock wonderful. Pot. I've talked about them. I made my pizzoli again this past week. Jesus. I don't. Use, I mean, I haven't cooked in a crock pot in since Lord knows when. Mm. I like a good crock pot. It's wonderful. William, what's the worst gift you gift you ever got? Probably a can of Pringles. <laughs> That's not bad. Can of Pringles when you're expecting a, a Chevrolet? <laughs> yeah, it's Chevrolet. a bad gift. 
Why were you expecting a Chevrolet? Because I, I turned have, 16. I'd rather have oh. Pringles. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible car. <laughs> uh, all right, that's all the questions. So let's try this new beat Let's see out. this new beat. Yeah, so this beat was sent to us by Robert Sesma. He said it might be too loud, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see what that means. Yes, officer. Uh, is there, what, what's hey, what's your life? Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Had COVID-19, thought it was 20. Came back, I'm sweet, like them candy, good and plenty. We do this shit many. I got many men. You know me, I take that shit to the fucking 10. I was just in H-Town, you know I put it down, huh? With a couple of pimps, they had to lock it down. Came back to L.A., I'm not gay. Did be, I see, meet, and we'll have our way. We got to find a place in Austin because we got to go. We got to do this shit. We got to pack up and do a show. Tony want us there. Red band got a chair. We might come to his house playing Genesis hair. Walk they dogs. <laughs> Wash some dishes. We do that shit. Get a car with them switches. Play Pac-Man. Trash can. Pass it to Will. Like Will I am. Janice, we going to do your hair. Janice, we gon' fix that air rabbit. Right uh, yeah. We fix it that air rabbit. Yeah. 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 Stay in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really had nothing. Yet. Yeah, nothing. Brothers and cursive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Brothers, Brothers and cursive. <laughs> Brothers, Brothers and cursive. cursive. Brothers and cursive. <laughs> Brothers and cursive. <laughs> Brothers and cursing. Are we really brothers? 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 Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursing. David, William Montgomery. Brothers in cursing. Brothers in cursing. David, William Montgomery. Brothers in cursing. Brothers in cursing. Brothers in Cursive, that's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know, I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Brothers in, in Cursive.